everyone, it's me QP83. So a couple doll shows ago, I picked up this adorable Clay Pal Saucy Walker doll. Saucy Walkers are an ideal doll. They were out in 1960-1961. Um, so the Saucy Walker is also known as like the Super Saucy Walker. Um, there are some Saucy Walkers that were put out by ideal prior to 1960, but if you look at those compared to this, there's really not much of a resemblance. Like, to me, they don't really look alike at all. And I don't know if they were supposed to, truthfully. Um, but this particular doll was out from 1960 to 1961. She's kind of like the Play Pal version, the Patty Play Pal cousin version of, um, of Saucy Walker. So Saucy Walker, according to the Sears Wish Book, is supposed to represent a chubby two-year-old which I think she totally does. Like if you, sh if Lena stands next to her, like they're, Lena's a little taller, but like it's adorable. Like they look the same age. So they, they got that. Um, there were two different sizes of Saucy Walker. So there was the 28 inch Saucy and the 32 inch. And this is a 32 inch Saucy Walker, which is harder to find. And they came in two different hair colors. So you can find this brunette one and then like a honey blonde. You generally see the honey blonde one. Uh, the brunette is apparently rarer, which I did not know when I bought mine. So it's kind of cool. They have a really nice body. It's actually the same body that Penny Playpal has. And the face is, was sculpted by Neil Astern, who it made basically any like sculpt from Ideal in, the, in that time period that had a lot of character to it that looked very realistic, that's a Neil Estern sculpt. <laughs> My mom and I did a whole video on like his sculpts for the uh, virtual doll convention uh, that Rachel was putting together one year and it was like, there were so many adorable dolls. I'm like, I want them all. Uh, and we actually have quite a few of, of his sculpts here in the house, which is great. He also sculpted a monument because he his main job was a sculptor, like actual like make sculptures sculptor. Um, so he has a monument to, for, uh, President Roosevelt in Washington, D.C. that you could also see, or take your patty plate pal to, and you guys can see it together. So, um, that's why this face is so expressive, because it's a Neil Estern sculpt. So that's a fun fact. My job, my goal, rather, after I bought her from the doll show, was to get her all fixed up. Because I bought her and they said, oh, no, she's in really great shape. And her face is in really great shape. Her hair's in good shape. Um, but she was in dire need of being restrung. And it was just, it was very hard to tell how badly she needed to be restrung because of the clothing she was in. So it looked like everything was, you know, kind of in place, but it was just being held in by the clothing. <laughs> so my first thing was to get her restrung. I ended up going somewhere local because... To ship these guys anywhere, it's like a hundred dollars or close to because they're so big, right? So I found a local place um, and got her restrung. Weirdly enough, her arm, which her arms were fine when um, I took her to get restrung, her like everything here, her two legs and her head were not very, were not fine, like they were practically falling off. But now it's kind of the reverse. She stands like a trooper, um, but this arm just will not hold a pose for the life of it. So, you know, I don't know. Frustrating a little bit, uh, but there's, you know, what am I going to do? There's really nothing I can do about it. She also has a crack here, which I did not know when I bought her. And truthfully, because I didn't document her, um, like... I didn't document her entire body before bringing her to be restrung. Um, I couldn't tell you if it was there or not. So, like, pro tip, before you send anything off to be restrung, especially if you have, like, two children and life is hectic, and actually at that point I only had one child, <laughs> and I was still pregnant with Piper, um, always document. Like, document everything before you, like, send your thing off to someone else. It's because I'm not sure if this was there or not, truthfully. Um, but she does have that crack there. But otherwise, her body is in really great shape. So I sent her to the restringer, long story short. They restrung her. Um, and then my second job was to get some outfits, which is the main purpose of this video. 
I wanted to try to get her all set up before I could, but like before I put her on her like permanent spot in my doll room here, because you don't really want to take a 32 inch doll off the shelf and on the shelf and off the shelf and on the shelf. So she's just kind of been waiting patiently in the corner until I get all the pieces together so I could put her up on the shelf. So this is one of two outfits I won, basically because I've lost a bunch of auctions. I was like, I'm just gonna bid on everything that I see and then I'll eventually lose them and maybe one of them will be mine. Uh, so I had something to put on her. So there were two auctions going uh, this month and I put a bid on both of them. But yeah, it's a cute outfit. It's not my favorite uh, because I didn't really want something white. But it is kind of nice to, to have something that is kind of cute and fun, that kind of look, looks like a 1960s sort of dress on this saucy walker. Uh, and then I also won a second auction, so I won both of the auctions I bid on, where I lost both of the auctions I bid on last time. So, you know, eBay's weird like that, I guess. Um, and that is the next outfit that you're going to see on her, because she'll probably be wearing that one for the majority of of her time before she goes and starts wearing Piper and Lena's outfits. All right, we are back. It's a different day with a different outfit. Um, this is Saucy's second outfit. This is um, my favorite of the two that I picked up because um, I think the green in this really goes well with her like hazel eyes here and I think it goes well with the brown hair really really well. Um, so this is the second look, which I really, really like, like I said. It does come with um, panties, whereas the other one did not. Uh, and I just think the color is just really pretty. And it looks really fun and easy. Now, if you do buy some one of these size dolls, um, the issue with buying clothing that is, say, just made for a normal child is going to be how it's, um, how you, you put it on. So these dresses both just had like two or three buttons and then they were pretty much open back here um, so you didn't have to fumble with the arms or try to like wiggle the arms into the outfit. So if you do have one of these and you see the, an adorable outfit that's made for say a human sized two year old, um, you may have to adjust the back for it to fit properly, either like cut it a little bit rework the back, something like that, because this was made for easy to put on a doll easily. Um, and sometimes, you know, kids clothes, obviously kids can move their arms into weird positions to get them on, right? But unfortunately Saucy, and especially my Saucy, can't do that. But this is the second outfit. It's going to be the one that she is in most often. Um, I just think it's really, really cute and it looks great on, on this particular doll. I think it fits her. And I still love that, uh, you know, she's going to keep this little McDonald's watch on just in, you know, in honor of whoever owned her previously because it looked like they kept good care, they took good care of her. Um, and I hope to continue to take good care of her as well. So, uh, I know this video is slightly disjointed, <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have a saucy walker in the comments. I'm definitely like eyeing saucy walkers still like if I saw a good price on like a honey blonde one or like a 28 inch size one I would definitely be tempted not for a hundred dollar shipping but if I saw one in person and it was good price uh, I would I would probably add a sister to the family here but for the time being um, I'm super happy to have a saucy walker of my own because she's just so cute but let me know if you have one in your collection or if you have always wanted one in your collection, what your thoughts are on this style or the outfits, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.